Sorry, he got away from us. Such a cute young couple. For a housewarming gift, I made them curtains for their bedroom. <laughs> Trust me, they needed them. <laughs> I just found out they had to postpone their wedding. Oh, well, what's the new plan? Nothing, really. We had to cancel everything, so I guess we'll just settle for the courthouse. Ooh, that's disgusting. Courthouse? I thought he said outhouse. So I thought I would throw him a classic spring Phyllis wedding. Hello, Rebecca. I've got a code purple. Well, maybe a lavender or a lilac. Please get here as soon as you can. Okay. Hello, Reverend. It's Phyllis here with another favor. I was wondering if I might be able to use the chapel again. No, not for another cat wedding. This time it's for a human wedding. I promise. There's nothing I love more than throwing an impromptu wedding or baby shower or birthday party or retirement soiree or game night. I just love throwing things. <laughs> and I have the perfect person to help. So the chapel could use a dose of spring charm. And with your help, I think we can make it pop with elegance and beauty. That sounds like a great plan. I brought my designs and a few things I grabbed from Joanne's. Okay. She really likes throwing things. I like throwing things. I'm thinking we spruce up the chapel with an archway with fresh florals and greenery. But the piece de resistance is going to be this paper flower bouquet. Oh, marvelous. While you're starting on that, I'll see about getting an officiant to preside over the ceremony. Okay. okay. You were the first person I thought of to preside over the ceremony. You know the couple, you're a great speaker, and you would look very glamorous dressed in a robe. Oh, you know just what to say. <laughs> and I don't know, it's an important role, it's a lot of pressure. I just don't, I'm not sure. Okay, fine, I'll do it. I booked the perfect officiant, you're gonna love her. <laughs> She did the mirror thing, didn't she? She did the same thing when she offered to find me a cat sitter. Signed, sealed, and now to deliver. I also have to give them their outfits. Oh, is that your own wedding dress? Yeah, it sure is. Crosses off something borrowed and something old. <laughs> I'll meet you at the chapel, okay. I'm really surprised we pulled it off. It looks beautiful. I still wish we'd hired a sword swallower. They're very classy. <laughs> nice work, Phyllis. You did it again. <laughs> and nothing caught fire this time. We are gathered here today to celebrate the unification of these two loving people. Andre, do you take Nandi to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Nandi, do you take Andre to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me by my mirror, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, you may kiss the bride. I'll see you at the reception. You ready? <laughs> oh. Caught it. <laughs> I love weddings. I really do. Oh, wow. And they lived happily ever after. And so do we.